Hi all. In this video, we are going to see how we can optimize BigQuery performance using partitioning and clustering. So let's go to BigQuery and see how we can optimize our performance on a large data set or large tables. So I am here in my BigQuery UI and I am having my project, my VOC project inside that I am having a multiple data sets and tables. So I will be using a table called tech forum in this dev data set so let's open this table and see the details of the tables so uh, this tables contains almost 20 million records and it's having a size of 3.33 gb it is a huge table so purposefully i have chose this table uh, for our demo so we can preview the data so this table contains the data of a technical discussion forum where a candidates uh, asking uh, questions on a particular technology and getting a response from the experts so it contains the data almost for 10 to 12 years okay so we'll see uh, how we can query on this table so i'll be querying this table first so uh, i want to fetch only the thousands records from this table so if you see even you are fetching a thousand records my query is scanning a complete table so it's 3.3 gb of data my query is scanning so let's reduce the number of rows so i limited my number of rows to 10 so i only want to fetch 10 rows from the 20 million records now you see still you are scanning a complete table so the reason behind this is a big query store the data in columnar storage means it doesn't matter how many rows you limited but it matters depends on this select column so you selected all the columns from this table so you used star here it means you are selecting all the columns from the table so let me select only one column so now i am fetching only 167 mb of the records now let me take complete data only from id column still you could see i am fetching 167 mb of the data so the first thing if you want to reduce cost of your query the first thing you need to do is fetch only the required column from the table instead of giving select star now let's take one example i want to fetch data for last one year for out of the table contains the data from 2008 to 2009 now i want to fetch the record only for 2020 and only related to python so i'll write a query select star from tech floor where creation date between 2020 jan 1st and end date will be 2020 31st December and I want technology means tax based on I want a post only having the tag as a Python let's see how much data it will fetch so it's fetching a complete table so it's scanning the complete table to fetch my record so let me format my query okay so let me run this query and see how many records it will fetch okay so it's almost took us seven seconds to fetch the 16,000 records related to my wear conditions okay so even though i want only 16000 record it fetched complete 20 million record that is of 3.3 gb of the size it means even if i am applying filter for a short record it will fetch a complete table and cost me for fetching the complete table so to avoid this what we can do we can create a partition table so this table is already created without any partition so we cannot add partition on this table if table is partition it would show here the table partition and based on the partition column 
so this table is already created without a partition so we cannot modify this table we'll do one thing we'll create a new table based on the partition and see how it will perform so let me open query editor and let me create a table based on existing table so i will do i'll write a query create table in the data set dev table name i will give as a tech forum underscore partition so i will remove this project name so i will give the table name partition partition by i will give date from creation date column as I would be needing a complete data select star from dev dot take forum so what I am doing let me format my query so I am creating a partition table called tech forum partition based on the creation date column partition and I will be fetching all the data from existing tech forum table which is not partition so let's create this table Let's wait for query to complete. It will take a while to create a table. Now you could see the table is created here. Let's check the details of the table. So here you could see the information here. This is a partition table for original table we were not getting that information because the table was not partition and here the table type you could see the partition table partition by day and the field you could see that is column as a creation date okay so it means this table is partition table now let's try to run same query on the partition table so I'll take the same query and I'll run in new query composer. So I'll run the query on partition table partition. So before running, let's again recall. So initial query took seven seconds to complete and it processed 3.3 GB of the data. Now we are not modifying the query. We just added partition to the table and let's see how much time it will take and how much data it will scan. So I'll run the query on the partition table now. Okay, now you could see the query performance has improved a lot so the initially query was taking a seven second now it's completed in only in 1.8 second and it's processed only 300 mb of data so in this way we saved our cost as well as time using the partitioning